<laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome, teacher. Hi there. Hi, teacher. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where have you been? I just don't have idea. <laughs> I'm so no sorry. problem, teacher. Yeah. No problem, teacher. Thank you. Use happens. Thank you so much for waiting, guys. You deserve extra points, all of you. Teacher, <laughs> nice. Teacher. Yeah. yeah? Uh, I just want you to know we uh -huh. only speak English. That's the attitude. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Not Spanish, never Spanish, right? Never. <laughs> what were you talking about? About activities of work. Ah, okay, all right. Yes. Well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, guys. Um, <laughs> that is kind of, you know, I feel weird because it has never happened to me. <laughs> Um, so it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I think that there is always a first time for everything. I was right. I was thinking uh, Mauricio uh, was uh, teaches teaches us, oh. but no, no, he didn't. Oh, really? He didn't, or he couldn't. I don't know, but he he was with with us. You were teaching him. I think uh, he he were uh, teaching us ah, okay now but that what happens is that you are only mine guys <laughs> okay well i'm do i do sorry guys uh, for that inconvenience uh, i hope that it doesn't happen again all right um give me one second i'm trying to restart um, the powerpoint okay in order that we can start so sorry again well, no problem, teacher. <laughs> uh, is everybody still here? Yes. I think some of you had issues with the connection too, or not. Let me see, let's see. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? No? No. Remember who? Finishes the. I'm sorry, Rafael. Ah, sorry, sorry. Eh, escuche mal. Ah, sorry. okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to share it, but I think that you cannot see it. Let me try it again. Give me a second. What a crazy night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Nothing yet? You cannot see it? No. No? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, we have to start giving the classes without presentation. I mean, if you cannot see it, I don't know what's going on. Okay. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing, right? Adjectives versus adverbs. Okay. Do you remember what the difference was? What is the difference between adjectives and adverbs? What do you think? I think uh, adverb is a uh, action, and okay. adjective is about um, about it's about uh, I don't know I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's about uh, characteristic. Characteristics of a noun, a, a verb, another adjective, another adverb. What do you think? Uh, if uh, adjective describe a uh, characteristic, for example, color or big uh, uh, that, or, or something uh, like that. Exactly. So remember, guys, that the adjective describes basically the noun and the adverbs describes basically another verb, another adverb, or another adjective. Okay? That is basically the functions for the adverbs and that's the options for the adjectives. 
Now, if I have an adjective and I want to transform the adjective into an adverb, what do I need to do? What do you think? Uh -huh. For example, if I have angry, how can I transform angry into an, ad uh, into an adverb? Angrily. Angrily, very good. Okay, I'm trying to share the presentation again. You cannot see it or can you see it? Yes, teacher. Oh, you I can? can? See. Oh, thanks God, okay. Now, let's just start everybody. This is the topic that we are going to start today. Design a basic plan to organize an inventory management. This is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead, thank you. Um, participant will be able to dis design a proposal to implement a SQL count program. A cycle count program. Cycle count program. Okay. Very good. Exactly. That is what we are going to do. We are going to describe what a cycle count program is. But before that, let's have a quick practice about adverbs and adjectives. Okay. Remember that the adverbs qualify the verbs. Okay. I have an exercise and you have to decide what the correct answer is. Let's imagine that this is like an exam, okay? Let's see if you got 10, okay? Let me open up the exercise. We are going to try to do it together, but you have to decide the correct answer. Let's see. Um, can you see the exercise, everyone? Yeah. No. No. Oh my gosh. Let me try to share it again. Now, oh, yes. Ah, that's great. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, imagine in the first sentence, Peter is ta 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 ta, -ta driver. Careful. Peter is? Careful driver. Careful driver. He drives? He drives very carefully. 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 All right. The turtle walk? Slowly. 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 Okay, the walk slowly because they are? Slow animals. Slow animals. All right, then hmm. a cautiously. I don't know how to say it. Okay, a cautiously or a cautious person. Cautiously. I think it's cautious. I don't know. Oh. What do you think, everyone? Uh yes, yes, right. A cautious. Okay. Cautious. Gotcha. Cautious person usually speaks. Cautious. Ah, okay. If you see in the first one, we are describing a person. And in the second, we are describing the way that this person speaks. Okay. Number four, they are. Quiet. 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 Okay. They are quiet. They are speaking uh, quietly, quietly. quietly or oh, quietly. Quietly, okay. Number five. Gordon plays very well. Very, very well. Okay, Gordon plays good... very well or very good. Very well. Very, very well. well. Very well. Okay, he is. A good player. A good player. So look at the difference. In one sentence, we describe the action, and in the other, we describe the person. So that's why in the action, 
I need the adverb, and in the other one, I need the adjective. Number six. Volunteer for the number six. Brilliant. 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 Exam. Okay, he did a brilliant exam. He passed, he passed the, exam. the exam exactly. Brilliantly. Brilliantly. All right. Brilliantly. <laughs> okay. Now, I will be asking individually, so only the person I ask, only that person answers. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Are you there? I me. <laughs> so, Hello. read the sentence. Go ahead. We had heavy snow yesterday. It snowed heavily. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, I agree. I agree. And what is the pronunciation? Snow. Snow? No. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Next one. Rafael, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Hmm. I will share Nelson. Nelson, are you there? Hello. Nelson. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um he look at me angry. No, eh, eh, oh my, oh my, my, my. Oh yeah, <laughs> you look at me angrily, angrily. Yeah, how okay. do you say angrily? Okay. And he has a bear. Mm, no, this is all right. The first is he look at me angry. He has a very angrily look. Hmm. Oh, do you no, agree, everyone? No. Ah. He in the first. I don't know. No, he looked look at me. I'm and... not sure. <laughs> I think okay. in the first one is angrily. Okay, the first one is angrily, and in the second one is angry. angry. Why? Yeah, and because in the first. Talk about uh, the person he, and in the second sentence, uh, no, that's my. Okay, let's let's analyze. Yeah, that. in the second, talk about my uh, about the look, how the person see. Yeah, for for me it, it that. First, angrily, and then angry. Okay. So look at this one. He looked at me. Am I talking about he, the way he, he looks like, or am I talking about the action? I'm saying that he's angry, or I'm saying that the way he looked at me was angry. The way that he Uh -huh. In this case, what do you think? I'm talking about he, he is angry, or the way he looks, he's angry. The way that he looks. Ah, so I need the adverb, okay? Because I'm talking about the way he looked at me, okay? And in the second sentence, he has a very angry look. When I say look, I'm talking about his eyes, right? Um, so in this case, this look is a noun. Which ones describes a noun? The adverb or the adjective? Adjective. The adjective. So that's why we need to say, he looked at me angrily. He has a very angry Look. Got okay. It? Yes. Okay, Elias, pick someone, please. 
Um, Pamela. Okay, Pamela, go ahead, number nine. We slept comf comfortably in our comfortable bed. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. Yes. Okay, perfectly, yes. In the first one, we describe the action, and in the second one, I'm describing the bed, right? Uh, Pamela, pick the last one, please. Osman. Okay, can you tell me the number 10, please? Okay, <laughs> let me see. Wait, wait a second, please. He plays. He plays badly because he is a bad player. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, yeah. I agree. All right. And basically, guys, this is the way, if you see, it is a little bit easier this way to verify when do we need the adjective and when we need the adverb. Just remember, normally, the adjectives, guys, well, they are always before the noun or after the verb to be. For example, look at the number one. Peter is a careful driver. I have a noun here. So the adjectives goes before the noun. The adverb, on the other hand, most of the time goes before, I mean, sorry, after the verb. Okay, that is normally the position. But as I mentioned in the previous class, sometimes the adverb can change its position. It's going to depend on what kind of word is describing. Clear, everyone? Yes? Clear. Mm, so, so. <laughs> okay, again, remember the positions. Adjectives before the noun. Adverbs after the verb. Okay? Sure. That's basically uh, the same uh -huh. um, Drive is a verb. Drive. Drive is the verb. It's Driver verb. is the noun. Uh, as well as noun. Mm, not really. Okay, look. Drive. This one is the verb. Mm -hmm. Driver. This one is the noun. So, for example, mm, okay, yeah. Uh -huh, it is like the letter R makes the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. The person who drives a car, it is a driver. Okay. Any questions so far? Everybody about the, the adverbs and the adjectives? Questions? No questions? Okay, well, let's continue everyone. Remember, this is a topic that we can continue practicing, okay? Now, if you remember yesterday we were practicing describing some people, now let's combine. And here we are going to see the difference between adjectives and adverbs. For example, if I ask you to describe your best friend, how would you describe your best friend? Can you give me examples? How would you describe your best friend? For example, I can say, ah, my best friend is tall. Tall is an adjective or is that an adverb? What do you think? Adjective. Ah, very good. It's an adjective. Pretty good. So, can you give me another example? Describe your friend, please, using adjectives. Yeah, 
he has uh, curly hair, or oh, I don't know. Yes, she has uh, curly hair. In this case, we are describing the hair. Curly, is that an adjective or is that an adverb? Adjective. Correct. Any other example, guys? Describe your best friend. He speaks okay. kindly. Ah, very good. Now, look at that example. He, um, let me divide it. He speaks kindly, you say? Yes. Ah, kindly. Is that an adjective or an adverb? Mm -hmm. I'm describing the person or the way that this person speaks. speaks. Correct. The way that this person speaks. Now, look at this one. Describe, guys, the way you drive. Can you drive, everybody? Yes? Yes. And how do you drive? In this case, I needed to use adverbs or adjectives. What do you think? I think the adverb because adverb. the action. So tell me the way that you drive. What do you think? I drive okay. carefully. Ah, look at this one. I drive carefully. Okay. What else? Another one? How about you guys? I is slowly. Okay, I drive slowly. Pretty good. Sometimes I drive very fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. When you are late, right? As well, uh, carefully. Carefully. Fast, but carefully. Fast and carefully. <laughs> and carefully. <laughs> okay, very good. And you guys? Do you drive responsibly or irresponsibly? Irresponsibly. Okay, okay. And you guys, do you drive legally or illegally? I don't know what it does mean. Always uh, legally. Legally. drive legally. legally. <laughs> okay, legally is that you respect all the laws, right? That you respect the traffic light, all the rules, all the laws. Do you? Uh huh. Yeah, right? Legal, all the time. Yes, me too. <laughs> I hope so. Because how do you say how do you say multa? Fine. Like this. Sign. Fine. Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. It is like when yes. I ask you, right? How are you? Fine. So it's the same. But in this context, it means <laughs> like when you don't respect the late the, the law, you have a fine. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Yeah. And could you say um, ticket or not? Actually, yes, you can say that. What happens, guys, is depends because you can receive a ticket in different scenarios. When you are specifically talking about like multar, so it's a fine. It's like a little bit more specific. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, next one. Describe your job. Job is a noun. Job is an adverb. Job. What is the word job? What is the function? It's a noun. Job is a noun. If I want to describe job, do I need adjectives or adverbs? Adjective. Adjective. Okay. okay. Can you describe your job using adjectives? Uh, my job sometimes is is uh, dangerous. Very good. That's an adjective. Yes. Look at this one. 
My job sometimes is dangerous. Pretty good. This is an adjective. Uh -huh, guys, can you describe your job? My is a um, friendly. Can you repeat? And friend, uh, friend, friendly. So your job is friendly. Yes. No, I'm sorry. It's other. I, I... Okay. Hi, guys. Describe your job using adjectives. Who wants to try? Or I will be asking individually. Let's see. Um, Josman Atilio. Josman, can you tell me about your job? Describe it. No picture in this moment. You can try, guys, thinking about the characteristic of your job. Think about the adjective. Is your job difficult, easy, relaxing? Is hard. Hard. Hardly. Okay. So my Hardly. job is hard. Hardly. Yes, just like that. Hard. What else? Is your job easy, difficult? Stress. Which one? No. Stress. Okay. Stressful. Okay. Teacher. Stressful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I, how could you say my job is pesado? Okay, in that case, guys, because if you say heavy, heavy is more like for objects. Heavy is literally pesado, right? But it's more when we are talking about the objects, objetos que son pesados. So when we want to say that my job is pesado, we can say tiring. Okay, my job is tiring. Or my job is exhausting. Oops. Exhausting. So those are the options that you have. My job is tiring or my job is exhausting. Okay. What else? Let's move on to the next one. The way that you speak English. I'm describing the way that I speak. So how can you describe that using adverbs? What do you think? Do you speak English good? Can I, say I good? speak English, I speak English slowly. <laughs> Very good, okay. I speak English slowly can i say i speak english is slow can i say that no no right because i'm describing an action so i have to say slowly what else how do you speak english guys uh could you say i speak english very well of course, very good. So you can say, I speak English very well. Can is I a... say very good? Uh, no. No, because good is an adjective. I have to say very well. Well, what else? Mm. Do you speak English perfectly? No. Right now, no. <laughs> but we can say the sentence in negative. For example, you can say, mm, I don't speak English 
perfectly. So we are using negative sentences too, okay? But soon, soon you will be uh, speaking English perfectly. I don't speak English perfectly yet. Ah, very good. That's a good one. Yet, okay? But soon you will do it. Okay, the next one. Let's talk about your boss. How would you describe your boss? My boss is a uh, shortly. Oh, short. Is a what? Is speaking. Oh, you can say short. So my, short. Mm -hmm. my boss is. My boss is short. Short means. That is not tall, right? It's the opposite of Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you guys, can you describe and, your boss? Uh-huh. And he's a uh, mm, enojado. Ah, how can I say angry. that, guys? Angry. 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 So he is oh, okay. angry. Very good. Who else? Describe your boss. Anyone? My boss is Paige. He's, he's, I'm sorry. Okay, Pamela, can you repeat? Okay. I'm sorry because I was listening to two people at the same time. Sorry, my boss is patient. Okay, sounds good. That's a good characteristic. Uh, Boris, what were you saying? He is friendly. Friendly, very good, excellent. Now, if you see guys, friendly is ending in L-Y, but it's not an adverb. Friendly is an adjective, okay? Now, can okay. you cook everybody? Can you cook? In my case, no. <laughs> okay. I prepare a delicious coffee. <laughs> okay, so describe the way that you cook. Let's see. I cook terrible. <laughs> okay, terrible or terribly? More terribly. Very good. Because in this case, remember, I need the other I cook terribly <laughs> right what else and you guys describe the way you cook uh -huh. can you cook a little bit very well okay so you can say I cook very well. Mm -hmm. If the food is delicious, that means that I cook. Uh -huh. uh, I cook spicy. Mm. But mm. what do you mean? Spicy is with a lot of chili pepper. Yes. But that is an adjective. We need adverbs. So remember in this case, you can say, ah, I cook deliciously. I cook perfectly. Or if you cannot cook, you can say the opposite, right? I can't cook perfectly. Ah, I cook badly, okay? That means that you cannot cook very well, okay? The last one, tell me about your neighbors. How would you describe your neighbor? My neighbor is Glee. Can you repeat? My neighbor is Glee. Uh, I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. Is my neighbor is? Is tall. 
Okay, my neighbor is tall. What else? What can you tell me? My name, oh, Glee. I'm sorry. They are noisy. <laughs> they are noisy, really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, look at this one. If I say, well, the adjectives that you are giving me is great, is noisy, but look, I heard the word glee. Glee, actually, it is not an adjective. This is a noun, okay? So we cannot describe my neighbor as a glee, okay? Because glee is a noun. So we can say, if you want to say, for example, that your neighbor is like um, alegre, for example, you can say, instead of glee, you can say, ah, my neighbor is cheerful or uh, joyful, okay? This is like when the person is like very happy, smiling all the time. Is your neighbor, guys, cheerful? Yes or not? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is your neighbor cheerful? A little bit? So. Okay, now look at this one. According to this exercise, guys, this is an example in order that you can see the difference about it when you need an adjective and when you need an adverb. If you see, the adjectives are describing nouns, okay? Nouns, but on the other hand, the adverbs, they are describing actions. How you do something. The adverbs are describing how you drive. They are describing how you speak or the way that you cook. That is the difference between the adjectives and the adverbs. Is it clear? Teacher? Yes? Uh, can you repeat of the adverbs? The Please. adverbs describes the actions. The adverbs describe, guys, how you do something. How you drive. The adverbs describe how you speak, how you cook. Okay? okay. So basically, Thank that you. is the functions of the adverbs. Thanks. Clear, everybody? Oh, yeah. clear. Ready for an exam about this topic? Yes. Yeah. Ah, that's the attitude. Pretty good. Okay, everybody. Uh, we are going to continue practicing this topic. Don't worry. But now we need to change, okay? And we are going to try to explain another topic. So, I have some questions for you. But first, can you hear me very well, everyone? Yes, can everybody hear me? Yes, teacher. Todos me escuchan bien? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes, let's, teacher. Let's answer, thank you guys. Let's answer these questions. How do companies keep their inventory count accurate? We have been talking about the inventory management. So what do you think, guys? How do companies keep their inventory count accurate or correct exactly? What do you think? Any ideas? In my in my experience is the is uh, 
May, yeah, it's a May. No, the, in my company, in my company, May, the cyclic, cyclic inventory. Okay, the, the cycle count program. Yes. It, uh, the all all the all the mom ah, every month you need to all the mom check all the mom ah okay and all the mom make inventory so it's very difficult right yes it's tiring i imagine that and you guys what do you think? Another idea about how companies keep their inventory count accurate? What do you think? Okay. I imagine my company um, have a check uh, every, each week. Every week, uh, really? Yes. Okay. For for to exactly about the inventory. Okay. Uh, uh, at the end of the month, uh, they have to change, check out every, each week. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, that's interesting. So look at the difference. Every company can have like each own meter. Boris, for example, he said that his company do it like every month in this case Elisa says right that is every week so it's kind of different in your opinions guys how often should a warehouse or a company keep count of their inventory every week every two weeks every month or every six months every year what do you think in your own opinion how often in my case um each week each week why yes because if the business uh, has mine mm -hmm. was mine um i will I would like no. I would like check, uh, each, each week because I, I could, uh, more, uh, specific, uh, about the inventory. Mm. Uh, what uh I need to, I need to more proud, or, um I don't know. I'm not sure about but uh, but uh, I would like to check out or check there mm -hmm. each week. Each week, okay. Yes. How about you guys? How yes. often? I think depend the move the product. For example. Uh, see the pro if the product uh, the move. Uh, Fast, for example, in the week, mm -hmm. uh, maybe diary or oh, weekly, daily. daily or weekly. Okay. But but if, if the product is not more fast, mm -hmm. uh, maybe monthly. Okay. Depends. For me, it depends the mood. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. And you guys, what about every year? Is that a good idea to do it every year? What do you think? Yes or no? Or is necessary to do it more often? Sure. Yes. In my opinion, uh, it's necessary all time the warehouse and the warehouse the the inventory because it depends the the budget the different company and 
uh, I have the the products in inventory mm -hmm. for sales because the uh, in one moment I uh, review the the exit time is the, the necessary the other buy on warehouse mm -hmm. and all the different no 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 increment the sales because it's necessary more the product right in is in this case necessary whole time the the actually the that they inventory in the whole company correct sounds good very good so look at this guys i like your point of view very good so that is basically what we are going to be discussing today the frequency about uh, the inventory in each warehouse okay and for that, we are going to verify first some steps that we need to follow in order to organize our inventory. Here, I have some words. These are steps to organize an inventory. And these ones are the definitions. So the idea is to match them with the correct definition. For example, if I'm talking about organized product and vendor information. Hmm, what is that? Hmm. Imagine here it says, you want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is. So I need to record the product that was sold, the price, I want to record the discount, um, and the price that you paid for the product. So what do you think? What is that? Organized products and vendor information. Is that create and submit accurate purchase order? Is that receive inventory mm -hmm. with the speed and accuracy? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What is that? Remember, keywords. Any idea? Record your sales. Record your sales. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? So remember, he worries. I will give you five minutes, everybody, to read the information and you have to decide which one you are going to step here. Remember, these are steps to organize an inventory. So remember what we do always that we have this type of exercises, identify the key words. Go ahead, you have five minutes and then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. If you have issues with some words or if there is something that you don't understand, tell me and I will tell you the answers. Go ahead, you have five minutes. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Read carefully, everyone. Everybody do the exercise because later I will be asking individually.
Yes, go ahead. Uh, in the chart where it says tag and label, uh, I was looking for the main of tag and I watching uh, it means the same of label, but I don't know. Oh, tag is more like etiquetar, right? That is the meaning for tag. And label, guys, basically it's more a when you put it in different categories. It's more like um, como colocar, calificar, right? So if you have a product, you can tag it. Pueden etiquetarlo. And label is when you lo califican or you put it into different categories. That is like the different, okay? Okay. If you have questions, tell me, please. Try to read carefully. Try to identify the key words. Three more minutes. Michelle, I have opinion. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's about uh, the in my, in my inventory. Okay. It, in my company, there is something very important. I know the 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 uh, uh, that there are many many companies uh, do two or, or three inventory in the years mm -hmm. but in but in my company and just do once inventory in the years okay and the important is in each process uh, we we put control in in the control is in input and output ah, okay. process mm -hmm. and the order has to have to match has to have to match mm -hmm. uh, in the true the order match if the order don't don't match uh, can pass can entregar, entregar? deliver can deliver the other process okay uh, for this reason, uh, the inventory is uh, is ninety nine percent match. So it's basically very effective, actually. Yes, it's very effective. It's, uh, in my company, don't don't wait uh, the inventory uh, for for to know for now. Para hacer para hacer si si las cosas están bien. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's something very very important because uh, in other companies I worked, mm -hmm. uh, do do three two or three inventories in the year, it's but but, in, mm -hmm. uh, but now uh, only just just inventory. And when the uh, when do you do that? At the beginning of the year, in the middle, at the end. Um, Almost always uh, in, uh, in November. 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 Okay. Yes. Mm, sounds good. At the end, end of the year. End the year. Is it mm. difficult to do it? No, teacher. Uh, it's more easy. It's more easy because uh, the inventory are uh, uh, tosta cuadrado. <laughs> so basically, during the full year, you keep, all day, all day. you keep everything in order. Right. Yes. Yes, because we we work uh, about uh, order teacher orders okay. uh, that the customer put us. Uh, for example, the teacher, uh, the, the the customer put us uh, one one order. The mm -hmm. order is 
uh, 100 teachers, for example. Yeah. The, the, our company uh, buy the, the, the Tela, the, the year, okay. compra, compra uh, the Tela, the Tela, uh, or input uh, a warehouse. Uh, in, in warehouse, the there are people count count the jar. Uh -huh. uh, if, if the the I don't know how do you say tela. <laughs> cloud. Cloud. Uh, if the cloud is correct, okay. Uh, mm, uh, all, all, all right. But is doesn't the way the the the, the cloud uh, se rechaza. Ah, it's denied. It, it's denied. Correct. Okay. Okay. And, and then and, and, uh, when when the when the when the cloud uh, uh, input the uh, uh, in sewing sewing department uh, we had to make 100 teacher no more no less no less. <laughs> uh, none of, uh, the the piece uh, we, we can piece we can lose the pieces not we can lose one. you have to be exact if, 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 we, if we don't deliver 100 pieces to warehouse again, mm -hmm. warehouse don't, don't, no, 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 no receive it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not received. Not received. For this reason, we we match order for order. Yeah, and it's for, it's a good idea. I mean, yes, for, for, for this reason, uh, we, we need to do on, on, only, only a, uh, inventory in the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds pretty good. Nice. Yes. Thanks for okay. sharing. I like that. Because if you see guys, as we mentioned before, each company has its, like, its own method, right? Like some company can do it once a year, once a week, or once a month, or even every day. But this is up to each company. Great. Okay, did you finish, everybody? Did you already match these steps with the correct definition? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, in the number one, which one is the number one? Any idea? I think it's I think. record your, sale, your sales. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. I agree. That's correct. Again, keywords, right? In the number one, we are just talking about record everything related to your sales. Is recording basically the products that you sold, the price, the discounts, everything. Pretty good job. In the number two, volunteer. Which one? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I think uh, it's a or, organizes product okay. and vendor vendor information. Okay. Do you agree, guys? Organize products and vendor information in the number two. Or I agree. With the, I agree, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Why? Why do you think? Which one is the key word here? Maybe the vendor information organized. Mm -hmm. um, and that's correct. If we are talking about organized products, organized information, that's it. We have vendor information very organized. We have the product information. We have the description. We have the shipping information. So everything is related. Pretty good job. Number three, volunteer. Which one is the number three? Number three, maybe. Um, tag and label inventory. Tag and label inventory. What do you think, guys? Yes. Yes. I think it's correct. Absolute. Absolute. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> And that's it. Look at this one. When we are talking about tag and label inventory, guys, basically we just have uh, uh, to do this in your inventory. 
right? And this is going to give you all the information, right? You can ensure your customers, your cashier, in order that they are not confused. For example, think about when you go to the supermarket or think about when you go to a clothes shop. If you want to buy something, what is the first thing that you check? You check the tag with the price, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Revisan el precio antes de comprar algo or is just like, no, I take it. The price is not a problem. Yes, the price in the product. Yes, right? So when we have the tag and the label, right? That help us to us as a customers, don't be confused. And also it helps the cashier, right? They can see the price and they say, oh, okay, you need to pay $5. Very good job. Next one, number four. Which one is the number four? Volunteer? Um, receive inventory with speed and a security. I don't know. Accuracy. Accuracy. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. And in the rest of you, do you agree or do you have any other idea? Yes, I agree. Okay. So in this case, guys, when we are talking about the number four, it is receive inventory with speed accuracy. Why? Which one is the key word in the number four? What do you think? Because some style could be good, could have um, some problems with uh, how do you say entrega? Deliver about Deliver. delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, also. They they could uh, check uh the of of the about the the presentation of of the product check okay. yeah actually yeah it makes sense it makes sense okay any other idea. Okay, the last one, number five. If I'm talking about incorporate a purchase a order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusions, what is that? The last one, number five. Great and subit accuracy. Accurate? Accurate portion? Portions. Orders? Orders. Look at this, guys. These are five steps to organize an inventory. Which of these steps do you consider is the most useful or the most important in a warehouse? What do you think? Do you think that record your sales is the most important or organize the product and vendor information, tag and label inventory? Which of these ones do you consider in your own opinion is the most important step? What do you think? It's important have a system about the product. Okay. And you guys, which of these steps do you consider is the most important when we are talking about an organization of an inventory? What do you think? Imagine that you are the managers. All is important. 
All of them are important. Okay. And you guys, what do you think? Give me your opinions. Let's participate. I think, teacher, the um, well for me there are two important. Maybe the the number one record your your sales because you have to have the control of all the products that it's in the inventory and that it's out um, and the other is create and submit accurate purchase orders because you can have a, a control uh, with that system sounds good and you can avoid confusions in the end sounds great yes anyone else guys which of this one is the most important for you any idea? No? Okay. Now, very good job with the matching. Again, we are talking about, guys, inventory management. Now, there is something that one of your classmates mentioned, and it is the cycle count program. This is a it's a way that we can have in order to organize our inventory. So we're going to find out what a cycle count program is. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Anyone? Me, teacher. Thank you, Elias. Go ahead. Cycle count. It's a method of checks and balance by which companies confirm physical inventory counts match their inventory records. This method involves performing a regular count and recording the adjustment of a specific product. Over time, they have counted all their goals. Good. All right, what is the characteristic, guys? of the site count program? Uh -huh. uh, Confirmance physical inventory. Exactly. So they confirm that everything that is on your system, for example, all the information that you have on your computer matches with the products that you have physically. Imagine that you have a warehouse and you have your computer, right? In the system, for example, if you go to your Excel documents or to your spreadsheets, it says that you have 100 boxes with a dog's food, okay? The cycle count program says that when you go to your warehouse, how many boxes do you need to have exactly? 99 or 98? How many boxes do you need to have physically? If your system says a hundred boxes, you need to have how many? Basically, you need to have 100 boxes, okay? That is the characteristic of the cycle count program, to have a match. The ones, the information that you have on your system that is the same information that you need to have physically in your warehouse. Now, in this case, guys, the cycle count program is different in each company. Some companies uh, have the inventory every week. Uh, some companies do it every month, every three months. As your classmate mentioned, they can do it once a year. This is depends on each company. 
Is it clear what a cycle count program is? Clear. Yes? Yeah. Excellent. Now, there are some benefits, of course, about the cycle count program. And here I have some of them. Okay? So I need a volunteer, please, for reading this definition, please. Go ahead. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. A cyclic count program or inventory accuracy. Accuracy count accuracy. is a accuracy count is a technique where inventory is is counted on a cycle, a shoulder. Schedule. Rider, pardon? Excuse schedule. me. Schedule rather than once years. The following are some of its advantages. Thank you. Advantage. Okay, these ones are some advantages. I want you guys to rank these advantages. This is about, <clears throat> sorry, your own opinion. You have to number from one to five. Number one, it will be the most important for you. Which of these advantages represents the most important for you? And which of this one is like the least important? For example, um, reinforces the importance of accuracy in your organizational culture. If you consider that that is the most important advantage, okay, you have to write number one here. Then you have to pick the other most important. Ah, I think that improves. Okay, you have the number two. And so on and so on. The number five represents the ones that is the least important. So if for you, for example, helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, and ta-da-da-da. Ah, for me, that one is not so important. Okay, I will give you the number five. Okay, I want you guys to rank the information over here, please, from one to five. And then we are going to compare your answers with your classmates. Is it clear, the activity, everybody? Yes? ¿Se entiende? Yes. Everyone? Yes. Perfect. Okay, go ahead. I will give you some minutes. Rank the benefits from one to five. Go ahead. If you have questions, let me know. If there is a word that you don't understand, tell me, please. Which one do you think is the most important advantages of the cycle count inventory? Read carefully. Think about your own company. What will be the most important advantage or the most important benefits? Yes. 
If you have questions, just let me know, please. In my opinion, opinion, number one is a is a precise productivity and efficiency through more accurate day leading to reduce operational and inventory carry costs. So for you, this one is the most important benefit. Yes. Hmm, okay. What do you think, guys? In your opinion, which one for you is the number one? Do you agree uh, with bodies or do you have another opinion? What do you think? In my opinion, I more important is the hell identify and correct reciting, charging, ordering, biking, labeling, return, and full in many errors. Okay, okay, pretty good. Anyone else? Do you agree with them or do you have the number one in another benefit? Uh huh. Everyone? Which one for you is the number one? Do you agree with your classmates? Um. Yes. For me, how identify. Identify? Okay. Identify and record. Sounds good. Sounds good. Elias, Pamela, Nelson, Rafael. How about you guys? Which one for you is the number one? For me, teacher, it's the. Um... The one that said helps identify and correct receiving, shelving, ordering, packaging, because you, you have the control of all that things. Mm, okay, sounds good. Anyone else? All right, now, the number one, um, I see most of you consider that it helps identify and correct. Da, 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 da. Some of you think that it raises productivity. Great. Now, the least important for you guys, which one is the number five? Which benefits do you think that is nice, nah, not so important for me? What do you think? Which one is the number five for you? For me, the number five is the re reinforce the importance of security in your organization culture because the other point is a, a good a, a good realization uh, process it mm -hmm. and a good culture in the organization because uh, because zero error, for example. Okay. For more efficiency. That's a good reason. That's a good reason. And you guys? Any other idea? Do you have any other opinion here? I agree. You agree? Number five? I yes. agree. Number five. So everybody has the same. <laughs> okay. So look at this one. We can think differently, right? Again, this is depends on each company. Remember guys, the cycle count program is verified that physically you have the same information as the information that you have on paper or the information that you have on your system. As it's listed here, we can have different benefits. The idea is that you can do this cycle count program depending on each company once a week, 
every day, once a month, okay? Some companies can do it frequently or not so often. Is it clear, the characteristics of the cycle count program? Everyone? Yes? It's clear, yes. yes. Great. Okay, everybody, I'm going to check attendance again. Give me a second. When you listen to your names, say present, please. Uh, Ana Lorena. She has a problem. Yeah. She has a problem. She has it with the internet, right? Yeah, yes. That's true. Thank you. Okay, Boris Alexander. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. Okay. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Um, let's see, let's see. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present. Thank you. Um, Wilber Alberto. Okay. Now teacher. let's continue. Yeah. He has a problem. The Whitbur. Oh. They they write in the chat. Yes, I, I can see the chat already. Thank the you. WhatsApp shop. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for telling me. And thank you, Nelson. I already checked your attendance. No worries. Okay, guys. Listen. Uh, yes, Elisa. My name. I don't hear. I don't hear my name. Ah. No, but I checked your attendance. I'm sorry. But yeah, okay. I checked your attendance already. No worries. Okay. okay, listen to me, guys, because <laughs> I don't know if this is a good news or bad news. I want to think that it's a good news. <laughs> listen, because INSAFOR requires that every class has to last two hours. And because I was gone because of the uh, electricity fails. And basically, guys, I need to extend the class for the 20 minutes that we lost okay so that means that today we can you got kidding me. yeah listen i know i know that it's not up me <laughs> um it's because it's in for rules okay i can't obligate you to stay the 20 minutes uh, 20 more minutes you are free to go if you want I have to continue with the class for 20 minutes because those are the minutes that we lost, unfortunately, okay? So I want to invite you to stay 20 minutes. We are going to talk about uh, being a manager. We are going to check some vocabulary and of course, speaking activities. So if you want to practice and speak, do have to stay. It's just 20 minutes, guys, it's Friday. Do you agree with it? Yes? <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Let's, okay, uh, again, I can't obligate you, but um, we need to continue for 20 minutes. All right, yes? Okay. Thank you, Lisa. He's the only one, my goodness. Teacher. Yes, Carlos? Uh, after noon, the, the girl, told me uh, the, uh, there is class tomorrow. Yes, it is. Yes. Remember guys that because of the inconvenience that yesterday we didn't have class. So we need to have classes tomorrow. Uh, did the girl talk to everyone? Yes? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes. 
Okay, so yeah, tomorrow we are going to basically guys have classes for the class that we didn't have um, yesterday, okay? The idea guys is to finish the schedule of this level on Monday, because if you finished on Monday, that means that the next level, the intermediate five, you will start it exactly when you come back from vacation. So you are not going to lose any time. So that's why we are trying to finish this level on time exactly on Monday. Okay, so you cannot lose any time waiting to start with the next level. Okay? Teacher. Yes? Uh, how many modules does intermediate have? Six. Six? Six? Yes. E as well advanced has six. Some months ago, it were five or four, if I don't remember pretty well. So I'm not exactly pretty sure about how many has today. Okay. I will check it and I will let you know, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, so guys, well, let's continue. Um, it's just 20 minutes and let's try to do it like in a very participative way. So we are going to avoid some exercises and we are just going to go to the uh, listening and speaking practice. Okay. Now look at this one. Uh, being a manager, do you want to be a manager, guys? Would you like to be a manager in your company? Yes or no? What do you think? Nobody? Yes? It depends, no? teacher. <laughs> Why? Because it has this type of position have a lot of responsibilities. Yes, that's true. But think about the benefits, guys. You can receive more money. Mm -hmm. And you guys, will you like to be a manager? No? The benefits depends of the company. For example, the company you, you are working right now. Some companies uh, don't want to uh, improve the salary. <laughs> <laughs> they want to give you more responsibility but with the same salary yeah ah oh, man well, that's not it's fair a, it's a chain <laughs> yes that's not that's not good i mean more job more salary of course uh, so actually it's a common practice in latin, in america in Latin America? Latin America. Yes, yes, definitely. That's totally true. It's pretty sad, actually. But that is what we are going to be talking about. So look at this one. As you mentioned before, right? Some of you, yes, you would like to be it. Maybe some of you say no because of their responsibility, right? Now, what are some of the characteristics of a good manager? What do you think? What characteristics a good manager has? What do you think? Uh, I will, um, I think uh, a good manager is when uh, he try to teach uh -huh. uh, a good a strategy about the about the employees okay and also uh, how do you say um como enseñanza grupos de grupos no, de knowledge knowledge okay Yes, and in my case, uh, that is that could be a good or, or excellent manager. 
-hmm. when try to improve the ability about the employees. That's great. It's very good. How about you guys? Think about your own manager. Think about the good characteristic that that person has. Is that person friendly, polite, kind, angry? Do you think that that is a good characteristic or not? What do you think? Another good characteristic? For me, teacher, uh, the managers must be empathetic. Empathetic. Uh -huh. uh, flexible. Very good, very good. Uh, uh -huh. Self sure. Self sure, yes, a very good one. Uh, I I believe uh, the manager is as sure. Mm -hmm. Is the becoming. <laughs> The, for the experience that's true yeah, uh, uh, for the reason i think uh, can be the leader of the group mm -hmm. okay sounds good now look at this guys next question what are some advantages of being a manager what are some advantages, positive aspects of being a manager? What do you think? I think uh, that there are uh, uh, a lot of characteristics. Uh, one, uh, an important is a listener. A good manager. listener? Good listener, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, also, the good manager has to ability to identify stress stress in their employees in their their employees okay uh, also the manager uh, show us uh, the good example sounds good Be because because uh, i think you and i all uh, learn more about uh i see no yeah. no the people say the uh, example uh, nor the theory uh, the, <laughs> yes yes cool those are very good characteristics now the benefits what do you think osman what the benefits or the advantages of being a manager uh, advantages advantages, uh, advantages i think uh, we we can we can learn a lot. We can grow up uh, like people. Yes. yes. Uh, we can get more uh, experience. More experience. Uh, mm -hmm. This is very important. Uh, Correct. The in this 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 advantage. I don't know how do you say. It. Disadvantages. This, disadvantages. Uh -huh. uh, Pamela uh, said uh, there are more responsibility. Yeah. Uh, the don't there is there isn't uh, schedule exactly. That's uh, true. And the reason the reason time to finish the job, the work, mm -hmm. because if if, uh, if we need to final fine uh, the fine uh, fin finish a uh, task uh, we had to work more late <laughs> that's true you don't have exactly on a schedule right exactly exact. very good now everybody here i have some characteristics or aspects of being a good manager so from one to uh, for one to seven tell me which one is the most important for you so for example being helpful to others mm, is that the most important for you is that the most important characteristic of a manager or being highly organized completing all your tasks on time carrying out instructions being 
fun. <laughs> Which of these ones do you think is the most important characteristics in a manager? What do you think? In your opinions, anyone? Um, in my case, uh, I could be looking for new ways to resolve to solve solve problems about mm. my activities of my work. Sounds good. Sounds good. And you guys, for you, which one is the most important characteristic in a manager? Uh huh. Are, are you there, everyone? Are you awake? Wake up, wake up. Tell me. I agree. For me, teacher. I would say. Um, with looking for new ways to solve problems? Is that the most important for you? Yeah. Okay. Pamela, what were you saying? Uh, for me, the most important can be being highly organized. Okay. Because as a manager, do you have to organize your own work or your own tasks and the in the task of your team so you have to be highly organized organized all right organized very good very good who else mm -hmm. uh, as well Osman? yes go ahead go ahead Okay, thank you <laughs> for me, teacher. Um, I agree when we listen with the we listen. Okay. And looking for new ways to solve problems. For the reason uh, they are, I am connection like listener. Yeah. Because. Um, for example, today I have a pro problem in, in Sonsonate. What happened? Uh, uh, how do you say ajustes? Adjustment. Adjustment the circuit breaker. Uh, in the, my boss, um, Mm, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Didn't have idea how to resolve it. Yes, uh, oh he, he he has an <laughs> idea. The with the resolve the problem, <laughs> and the other co co-workers and me res they resolving the problem. Imagine Only. you did yes, the job yeah. basically. <laughs> what? You did the job, not your manager. Yeah. And for <laughs> me, the, uh, the advantages, uh, the the to be a uh, manager mm -hmm. is um, cop cop the subordinate uh, subordinates. Uh huh. That's true. Yes, for me, it's the problem. <laughs> totally. Now. In this case, okay. I can see some of you agree, guys, with looking for new ways to solve a problem. Some of you said that is being organized is one of the most important characteristics. Now, which one is the least important characteristic in a manager? Which one is the, um, it's not important? What, is, what do you think? For me, no, it's not uh, being, oh, sorry. Okay, Boris, go ahead, tell me. For me, it's uh, being fun to work with. Fun. Be fun with, Be, okay. Yes. So for you, that one is not important. A manager yes. is not necessary to be fun. Yes. Hmm. And you guys, I, I listen to someone else. Tell me, what's your opinion? 
Which one is not important? What do you think? Uh huh. Wake up. Anyone else? In this case, teacher, I think a Okay, I'm sorry, Pamela. I, I listened that you are breaking up. Because I, I think a manager have to do a lot of things. So um, you you know what? So maybe can this can be um the last one. Showing you want more responsibility is not that important. Yes. Okay, very good. So look at this one. We have different characteristics, right? So managers, remember, there are some characteristics that are very positive and some others, not so much. Like as your classmate mentioned, being fun, maybe that is not that important. Showing that you want more responsibility. I mean, you already have a lot of work. Pretty good. Okay, uh, we don't have like a lot of time. Let's resist guys, couple of more minutes. Uh, let's skip that one. When you are a manager, you have to give feedbacks, okay? You have to uh, check and qualify your employees work. Let's see, I have different uh, employees here. Analyze their job and tell me what is the score that you will give them. For example, imagine that you are the managers and you have an employee, his name is Joey. Joey is often late for work and never achieves his sales target. So what is the feedback for him? Is he excellent, good, poor, or satisfactory? Mm -hmm. What is the best adjective for him? Poor. Poor? Everybody, do you agree? His performance is poor, is good, excellent. Poor. 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 Okay, yeah, right? I mean, he's always late. He never achieves his targets, his goals. All right. Now, imagine that you are the manager and you have another employee. Her name is Kate. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number two. Only one, please. When we finish this exercise, the class is over. Don't worry. Yes, go ahead. Kate is very thrilled, but this often means that her work is a little slow. Do you remember the meaning of this word, Tara? That's a poor. Tara is a person like, que presta mucha atención a los detalles, right? It's like perfectionist. So we are saying that she is perfectionist. That's something good, but that means that because of she uh, check every single detail, her love is very slow. So how do you describe her performance? Good. Satisfactory. Okay. Good. Some of you say good. Some good. of you say satisfactory okay volunteer for reading number three tell me about daniel daniel, uh, Dennis. daniel always does what this manager expects of him mm -hmm. how would you describe her performance satisfactory satisfactory, satisfactory? What do you think, guys? Look, it says that he always does what his manager expects. Satisfactory is ex ex excellent. So excellent? Okay. Excellent. 
Some of you say excellent, some of you say satisfactory. So remember that satisfactory is like not so good, but not so bad, right? That is the meaning of satisfactory. Uh, okay. It is it's excellent and, and good. Okay. Can be excellent and good. And the last one, we have an employee. His name is Charlie. What happens to Charlie? Can you read it, please? Only one volunteer for reading. Excellent. Um, Charlie always exceeds his sales targets. He often stays in the office later than everyone else. <laughs> How do you describe his performance? His work. Work a work a colleague. I don't work, know. Workaholic. <laughs> workaholic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, excellent, good, poor, satisfactory. What do you think, everyone? Excellent. Excellent, but he's workaholic, right? <laughs> because he, he extra always excels. Excels. Yes, he always exceeds. Exceeds. Exactly. Exceeds. Pretty okay. good job. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here tomorrow. We are going to continue describing the characteristic of being a good manager, and we are going to have some role plays. Thank you so much for staying and do that huge sacrifice. Tomorrow is Saturday, but we have classes. Okay? Teacher, teacher. I, I have a question with the second sentence. Yes. Why we use a slow? Oh, and in this one? Because we are talking about her work. Yes, what happened is work in this case, guys, is not the verb. No se está refiriendo a la palabra trabajar. Ah, es que ella trabaja lento. Estamos diciendo que su trabajo es lento. Entonces aquí work está funcionando más como un noun, no como un verb. That's why we say slow. Okay? That's why. Okay, teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're very welcome. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Thank you for, Thank you for staying. Bye-bye.